It's time, Ellie. It's finally time. The day has come. The day has come. Let's go. Let's go, Ellie. Come on, let's go, Ellie. Come on, Bailey, come on, come on, Bailey. let's go, come on. Hi, good morning. Good morning. I just, uh, I just want to follow up uh, with my car. I think we spoke yesterday. Uh, I think my, you, you, you told me my car is meant to be delivered today. Uh, what kind of car is it? It's a black Mercedes. Okay, just 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 a quick a quick uh, issue is that I have to be at the office. I have to leave from home here at 11:30, and then I'm not back till 4:30. So I don't know if you can coordinate to come earlier or after. I just I just wanted. Where are you going? I'm going I'm going to work. I'm going to a place that I can't have the car delivered. Oh, you can you can take the car for, uh, to the to the office, right? I can take the car to the office, but I don't want to have it delivered there. I want to have it delivered at my home. Okay. Okay. Uh, what time be okay, it's all good. Thank, thanks. You just call me back? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Hey, we're making progress. We're making progress. <laughs> Hi there. Hello. Hi. It is bloody afternoon, but I don't know what time correctly. You know, they cannot tell you. Okay, I won't I won't be home till 4:30. Either either before 11:30 or after 4:30 for me. Yeah, there is there is planning there is planning today afternoon, but uh, uh, it is Okay, I mean, so they, they don't, they can't give me an approximate time? Um, we can, but, uh, you know, I, I can tell you, we, we're gonna come afternoon, you know, but I don't know what time, no. Okay, could it, could it be after 4.30? Uh, maybe it's gonna be after 4, maybe earlier. I would prefer after 4.30, like I want to be there when it, when it, when it come when it shows up. What do you mean I'm going to give you money? There is, there is payment. The, the dealership is our, is, has taken care of the, the price. Oh, wait. It is says you have to pay for it. One minute, let me see. You see, there's G. Yeah, $1,500 on delivery, man. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, you you deliver the car. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to talk to the dealership. Yeah, please, because I was there with the dealership. Nobody is get us the money. Okay, I'm gonna have to talk to the dealership. Yeah, please. Okay. Uh, uh, please the money with the cash, uh, cash actually, or sell. Okay, sure. Thank you. See you this afternoon. So you heard the phone call. Turns out that the shipping company is on their way today. Seven days, eight days to get the the, the car across country. Brutal, brutal. I don't know if they're looking to save money with their with the diesel prices and stuff like that, or if they're you know going to a place, dropping off, trying to pick up another car. It's taken a long, long time. I was promised this weekend. Then I thought for sure. I thought for sure Sunday. Thought maybe Saturday. Thought for sure Sunday. 
Then I spoke to them, they said, you know, it's on its way, it's in New Jersey, which is just a, a state over, but real close, right? We're, on, we're right on the border. Thought for sure Monday, had the day off Monday, sat here all day <laughs> waiting for the car, nothing. I called the guy, he said it's either, either last night or today. Now I called them, you just heard my phone call, and it's out this afternoon. Like, how do you go from, from one night to, to the next day, f like full on day in the afternoon? Should be next, uh, that night or next morning. I don't understand these guys. They they work slow. They work real slow. Other issue I'm having now is that the 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 shipping company is telling me that I owe them fifteen hundred dollars at delivery, which is a no go because I I factored in with the dealer the shipping cost on these guys. The the price I paid, which I'll let you guys know in another video, um, was including shipping. So these guys are looking for fifteen hundred bucks U.S. You know when when the car comes today. I've got a message out to the dealer to sort that out. So a little bit of stress today. Well, hopefully we get the car. Um, hopefully we get it all resolved. I'm sure we will, but um, a little bit of a pain in the butt. Stay tuned. So I'll include some of the messages here from the the car dealership, um, telling me that you know the car is you know has been paid for. And just to tell the trucking company that the car was paid for, which I did, and they said no, it wasn't. Uh, and uh, then, then, then sorting it out, asking for the for the number of the trucking company, me giving it to them, and then everything getting sort of sorted and uh, confirmation of payment. I'll just include the the text thread right here. All right, so just got off the phone with the dealer and with the trucking company, and apparently you need to wait till the car has been delivered before payment can be made. So. What I thought was gonna be a big issue where I was gonna be on the hook for the payment for 1500 bucks. Uh, the dealer told me to call his manager, his payment manager who was gonna call the trucking company and make payment. I told them, no, I'm not dealing with that. I've already, I've already paid. Gave the trucking company's number to the manager of the dealership. They got in touch, car was paid for, and now we're one phone call away from, uh, from the car being here. Probably the next two, three hours, we're gonna get a call and uh and then we'll see our our baby she'll be here uh very shortly i'm excited hello hello is it dane yes it's dane speaking yes uh how are you doing uh call regarding your car is it 2019 yes Your truck is broken? I can't hear you. I can't hear you, man. Hello? What the hell? The truck is broken now? Are you kidding me? Yes, hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Yeah, what's up? Where, but where are you guys right now? Huh? Where are you guys right now? Who are you? Where are you? Are you not close to me though? Where? Uh, in Alita. Okay, well can I just come to you and get the car? Yes, of course. I live, I live close to Allentown. It's already taken so long. I can't wait another two days, man. Okay, can I... Can you give me the exact address and I'll just come to you and get it? If I can, I will text you, okay? Okay, and I'll just, I'll come to you right now then. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What a pain in the ass. Their truck is broken now. Now I'm out another, God knows what, in Ubers to go to Allentown. That's, a, that's an hour away to get my car. This is such a pain in the butt. Such a pain in the butt. But at least I'm getting it today. It's like a pain in the butt. 
Hi guys, so fast forward to the next day. Um, I was on the phone with the trucking company last night. They said I could come up and get the car. The car, the truck is not working apparently now and so it's an hour away in Allentown. Apparently I can come up and just get the car, take delivery of the car on my own. Um, I left the phone call, as you heard, with them saying that they would text me the address. Thought that that was gonna happen right away as soon as I hung up the phone and waited two hours, three hours, and still got nothing from them. Their shop, I guess, or the, the, their site, their company, their business closed, and the manager never came back for the night. So fast forward to the next day. It's seven o'clock this morning. I'm excited again. It's a new day. It's a new opportunity. Waiting for a call from them. I was on the phone with them at eight o'clock yesterday morning, so I know that they're open as, uh, at that point. I'm hoping to get a call from them in the next little while, next hour, two hours tops saying you can come to the the site where the truck is is broken apparently and pick up your car um, and, and they'll give me the details so stay tuned All right, good morning. Uh, I'm trying to get updated on my uh, car, please. Yeah, staying sharp calling, black Mercedes. I was supposed to get an update with the address to come pick it up. I can't hear you, man. There's some yelling in the background there. Um, it's a black Mercedes. It's in Allentown right now. I was told the truck was broken down. We spoke yesterday. I was I was supposed to come up and get the get the car on my own. Yeah. Two thousand nineteen. Yeah. I spoke to someone last night and they told me that the truck was out of service and that but I, I live half an hour away from Allentown so I uh, I told them I would just come and pick it up and they, they said they would text me the address when the manager got there hello Yeah, that's where it's supposed to go, but you have to already told me yesterday that the truck is broken down. So I told you that I would come to the, the truck. Yeah. Uh, you come to pick up the car from, uh, yes, from Allentown, yes. I just need the address so I can come and meet, and meet the guy. Okay, okay. Thank you. These guys are so annoying. It's on mute right now. They're so annoying. The communication's brutal. There's someone yelling in the background. It's brutal. Brutal service. Better get the car today. Talking to a guy last night who says, oh yeah, yeah, come get the truck. Now I'm talking to a completely different guy who doesn't have a clue. It's ridiculous. Let's, let's wait and see what the, these people have to say. Frustrated, man. Hello? You told me you were going to do that last night and then I waited, uh, I waited all day and I didn't get it. Are you going to text to me right now? Okay. Um, I'm going to, so I'm, I'm about 45 minutes away. So expect me in one hour. Will there, will there be someone there to give me my car in one hour? One hour from now, so say 11 o'clock. Uh, 
Tell, tell him 11 o'clock, because I'm taking an Uber there. So if he's not there, then I'm going to be stranded. So I need to make sure that he's there, please. And so what I'm asking Okay. Can you give me the address right now? I'll write it down. I'm going to be there in one hour. Tell me the address. I'll write it down. Hello? Hello? Just tell it to me right now. Tell it to me right now. Hello? Hello? These fucking people, man. This is starting to sketch me out a little bit. Really starting to sketch me out. I'll text you. Read me the address. You told me you were going to text me last night. Freaking idiots. Let's just see if that text comes in now. Ah, so frustrated. All right, so I'm not gonna show the address, but the text just came in right away, thank goodness. These guys are not complete scoundrels like I thought they were. They're starting to play ball a little bit, but I really don't know what's going on. I know the truck's out of service. Whether that's true or not, you know, who knows. Um, you know, I, I make a phone call, you heard, of someone yelling in the back, and I mean, the professionalism of this place is freaking like very, very low, I'm not pleased. So I've got the Uber address, or I've got the address, I'm gonna Uber it. I'm, eight, I'm out 85 bucks and an hour drive. Um, you know, I'm at their sort of mercy once I get there, but I want my car. I'm so excited for this car. The excitement has kind of been pushed down a little bit with all the frustration, but you know, I feel like this could be the last hurdle. Fingers crossed, please, I hope this works out. So I've got the, the address on the way. He knows I'm meeting him in one hour, 45, one hour, 15 minutes. And uh, let's, let's go see the car. If you're good at, you know, if you're a professional in sport, you're very unbalanced. If you're a CEO of a major corporation, you're very unbalanced. You know, there's a very, there's, there's a lot of uh, lack of balance inside of success. Uh, and, and All right, are you Uber's here. Blindly, Uber's here, Ben. It's the time. The time is here. Let's take a look. Don't want to do. Uh, there it is. You're, you're, there it is. Time to go. Happy the well, Obsessed Garage, in the meantime, if you don't watch Obsessed Garage, so, you're not with it. Get on it. Let's go get the car. I'll see you in a little bit, okay, Ben? I'll see you in a little bit. I'll see you in a little bit. We're here with my Uber driver. Say hi, man. What's up? It's Pedro. He loves cars. He's more of a Rice Rocket uh, oh, yeah. Supra boy. Yeah. Um, and there's the beast. This is my truck driver who's kind of let us down, but we're happy now. <laughs> and we finally, we have, we finally got to the car. After everything. A little dusty, that's for damn sure, but we're gonna get her home and get her nice and clean. Nice, nice and clean. Boys, we did it! We did it! Sitting in the AMG. Finally did it. There's my baby. She hits hard. All right, so final thoughts. That was the process of getting a car delivered sight on unseen uh, FaceTime videos, stuff like that from the other side of the country. Long ordeal, not great communication. I was not impressed, but my baby's here. Very dirty. They took it off the truck. You guys will see in the video. They took it off the truck. I was sitting in a, in a, a lot a gravel lot without paint protection I examine the paint everything's fine but it's dirty as all hell so taking my baby home right now I'm gonna give her a full detail wash review coming detail wash ceramic coating coming and tons more uh, with the full experience with this baby I'm so happy to have this it's been something I've been chasing for a really really long time um, and let's enjoy it all right see you in the next video